In Fallout 1, Overseer Jacorian plays an important role in the game. He explains the water chip situation and how important it is for the player to find it and fast. In addition, he acts as a father figure to the player and guides them too. He suggests a vault to check out that might have a water chip, and he will give more supplies to the player if they need it. Hell, even after the water chip has been found and you have to deal with the unity, he will guide you to look west since that's where most people go missing. He looks out for you, he cares about you, and as the player you want to make him happy since he plays the father figure. So, at the end when you save your vault by getting the water chip, and then saving it again by destroying the unity, you return home, but something's not right. He's waiting for you by the vault's entrance. He explains that you're not welcome there anymore. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Your actions will inspire the other vault dwellers to leave the vault, and they will die out there. So all your efforts to save them will be wasted. To many players, this is a betrayal. You've done everything the Overseer has asked, and he banishes you from your own home. You were nothing but his dog, fetching what he wanted, and after your uses ran out, he abandons you. He's a wimp, a coward. Now, it's completely valid to be upset and angry at Jatorian. It can feel like a backstab. However, in my opinion, he's not wrong. I'm 100% with him. I agree with his decision. Let me explain. During the game, you can ask Jatorian that maybe he should give the choice to the other vault dwellers if they want to leave the vault. He explains that they won't be able to survive, nor would he. In the end of the day, Jatorian only has skills in management. Yes, you can see this as Jatorian trying to save his own skin, but he's not wrong. The people of Vault 13, they don't have survival skills. They won't stand a chance against rad scorpions, raiders, ghouls, or mutants. Let me remind you, in the master ending, Vault 13 gets crushed by the mutants. Even Jatorian, being the only one who can defend himself, gets beaten to death by the mutants. Yes, those who live in Vault 13 live a comfortable life, and maybe Overseer Jacorian should start a program to make them learn survival skills, how to defend themselves, etc. But at the time of Fallout 1, with all the events that happen, if they felt comfortable enough to leave the vault, they would not last. They're much safer staying inside of Vault 13, hiding in Vault 13. You may counter and say, but look at the player character. They turned out to be alright, but the player character is different. You learn new skills, you get used to the wasteland, you meet all sorts of characters and visit all sorts of different lands, but the rest of the vault? They're not the player character. Look at the entrance of Vault 13! A vault dweller died by rats! Oh my god! And trust me, like if you're a new player going into Fallout 1, most definitely you will die of rats if you're not careful. <laughs> Think about it. The player character becomes a hero, the one who saved everyone from the evil mutants. The rest of the vote will be inspired and want to be like the player character. Jatorian tells the player they will want to emulate you. All that work to save them will be for moot. They will die out there. There is no guarantee that they too will be a hero. If they die, which most likely they will, it will be Overseer Jacorian's fault. He's protecting the Vault Dwellers. Now, I have seen the argument that people say, well, if those in Vault 13 do leave the Vault, they should just join up Shady Sands. They'll have a better chance of surviving. Plus, we know in Fallout 2, Tandy mates the NCR. That's a reasonable argument. Plus, there is an NPC from Shady Sands who came from a Vault. However, this isn't Tandy's NCR yet. This is a small town called Shady Sands. They don't have the resources to take more people. A better idea would be to stay in hiding where it's safe. Wait till the NCR is made, then join up. That way even Jacorian would be able to be useful with his management skills. However, in the time period of Fallout 1, it's a bad idea. Another point people have made is that Jacorian never cared about you. That's not true. He does. Quite a lot, actually. You saved him and the vault. His decision to banish you from Vault 13 was not easy to make. He's frustrated. He doesn't want to. But he has a responsibility to the vault. He needs to keep it safe. Keep the vault dwellers safe. For real, it feels like a father having to say goodbye to his child. 
He's not happy. It's really depressing, to be honest. You feel the weight of his words. I want to hug him, though. I understand why people hate him, and that's completely valid. When I play Fallout 1 and he tells me I have to leave, I just want to cry. I don't want to leave my home. I made my Fallout father proud, and he won't keep me. Why do I have to leave? Don't you love me? Why don't you love me? I just want to go back home. It really breaks my heart. And, well, that's what Fallout 1 is kind of about, really. It's about finding a place and calling it home in the wasteland. Giant Town, the ghouls in the Dropolis, Shady Sands, the Unity, and so on. A place you belong. But we have a home. And a father. We are tasked to save it. Save them. Then, when we do, we have no home. And our father says goodbye to us. It hurts. It really fucking hurts. But, if we do care about the vault, and oversee a Jacorian, we should leave. It's what's best for the vault. Even if it stings a lot. As we walk away from our home, all we can think about is maybe, just maybe, Jacorian and the other vault dwellers will think of us. And that's it. In my opinion, Overseer Jacorian isn't a bad man. He's a good man making a really difficult decision to protect Vault 13. So, I would love to hear your thoughts on Overseer Jacorian fiends. Do you like him? Hate him? I want to know! If you did hate him, hopefully this video at the very least made you see Jacorian in a different light. Maybe even understand his position better. I'm sorry fiends. You finished this video. And you have to leave.